Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. I don't recall the conversation just yet, but where, where do you want the closing device to be located? In the in the door, in the frame, in the floor, on the on the door and frame. Um, does do you have like a hinge with a closer, like integrated? Well, there are spring hinges, you know, of of different types. I think that's an awful way to try to close a door um, because it's nothing other than a spring. For instance, how heavy is the door? I would say a hundred and. 150 at least? So not, yeah, so not very heavy, but that is most definitely heavy enough to dissuade someone from considering closing a door with a spring because it's just wind it up and let it go. With hydraulic control, you can elegantly control the rate at which it closes. With a spring, you can't. Mm. So, if you have a, a hinge with a spring, you cannot adjust the the strength. Sure. Oh. sure, you can adjust it, but that doesn't give you control. You know, you might say, oh, it's too fast or it's too slow. Ultimately, it's not control. It's just getting it set to where, yeah, that works. But if you want to control the opening, then you need hydraulic or pneumatic, but hydraulic control. So as I, as I see the, and what are the options for the hydraulic? Yeah, hydraulic. So that's the question. Where would you like to put this? You can put it in the header. You can put it in the door. You can put it on the door and on the frame, surface mounted, so it's not concealed. Or you can put it in the floor. Do you want the hardware to be concealed? Yes. Okay. So then it will be something that can go into the header or into the top of the door <clears throat> or in the floor. Those would be the locations. Um, it will be the header because it's a building entrance and you know we need to have the ADL, ADA seal. Yeah. So that's... that's yeah, that's going to be tricky um, because stack pressures in buildings, you know, air pressure, you lower that. So what happens is when you reduce the closing force, pardon me, when you reduce the opening force, you also therefore reduce the closing force. So exterior doors that are handicap compliant, all these manufacturers say <laughs> it may not work. You know, you don't have enough closing force. Um, so that's the risk that is run when it's a commercial exterior opening. Um, you know, it's a catch-22. Okay. Um, now, one thing that could certainly um, lend to your advantage is putting it in the floor, because you could use a floor closer, of which you mentioned Dorma. They do floor closers. They do overhead closers as well. Um, putting it in the floor allows you to accomplish two things. Very elegantly handle the weight of the door because it's all borne by that floor closer, which is borne by earth, you know, right? Um, and uh, you'll, you'll find because you're very um, efficiently hanging the door, not putting it on hinges that you're fighting against the hinge itself, um, you have a better chance of that working for you in terms of reduced opening and closing force. Um, he told me he didn't like the, the dorm uh, closer he has right now. I, I didn't ask why because I want to talk to you first. Yeah, I don't like him either in the sense that I like Dorma, but you see the Dormas on the front of all the Apple stores. Most of the Apple stores I walk into, the closer doesn't work right. I, I, if it's a floor closer, I don't. Dorma's not the one that I prefer. I prefer Rickson. They invented the product, you know, a hundred and. 30 years ago, and it's still best in class. But putting it in the floor means, well, obviously, a hole in the floor uh, where you can put this giant, you know, 15-pound piece of metal. Um, so... Do you have a video 
Uh, that's how I, I met you, by the way, with watching your videos in YouTube. Do you have a video uh, in YouTube of this option that you're talking about? No, I don't. Not that I. I mean, I, I'm sure that I have floor closer videos somewhere. I don't recall one, but that's just a trip into the Rickson catalog, or for that matter, um, you know, the Dorma catalog. Um, you know, they're they're gonna, you know. But if your client already says, "Don't give me Dorma," let's just not look at Dorma. Mm -hmm. We'll look at either if it's a floor closer, we'll look at Rickson. If it's overhead concealed, we'll look at LCN. Um, and and and, it, and at this point, it's just looking at their catalogs. Either the Rickson or the LCN catalog. You know, that um, can you send me that? Uh, yeah, it'd be my pleasure. Well, be amazing if you can send me the Rickson and the other one you said. LCN Lima Charlie November. Okay. If you can send me that and tell me where to go. Uh, and then I'm sure I'm going to call you back with questions. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and what I'll do is I will send you that email. I'll give you a link to the two manufacturers' pages within our site, and you're just going to be looking for product catalog there. Um, and that will allow you to dip your toe into that pool, so to speak. Um, okay. and so that's what we'll do. What is your email address? Just for you to know that there's no space because of the molding between the door and the transom to put a uh, closer that is visible. It has to be some type of conceal uh, closer. How are like they closing the, lift, the doors now? Um, they. He said he had, you can see that one door, which is the right door looking from the outside. As fevered um, dorma hinges, I imagine there's a closer there in that hinge, right? Or no? I don't see any hinges. Um, mm -hmm. There's one door with hinges, you know, like square hinges, and the other door has. Oh, I like, see that. Fevered dorma. Oh hinges. yeah, yeah. They've got two butts on one door, and yeah, they've got a they've got a either a pivot. Or a floor closer. How are they closing that door now? I thought I don't know. I thought it was like the the hinge, the dorma hinge had a closer by itself, something like that. I, I no, doubt right? that's I doubt that's uh, going on down there. So if that right hand door has a floor closer, um, what what's what's the premise? What are you working on? I mean, what what has to happen? I mean, what what do you, does your client need to accomplish? What I understand, uh, he will have one door closed all the time, right? The left, and it's a big building, so he needs uh, that door to open and close behind you. Okay, so More the specifics. Mm -hmm. So the answer is they want to make that door self closing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it would be, in my opinion, there's no chance that there's no closer there now because that's an exterior door. It has to close. I would think the inactive door is just always held closed and that there's likely no closer exactly. there at all. Yeah. You so, open the door just for us to, uh, or for me to quote. Yeah. So what I would do is I would, so obviously... It's possible that there's no floor closer there now. That's highly unlikely. I would guess that there was a closer there that worked at one time and that it's by Rickson and it no longer works. Okay. So if all of that is correct, the best way to proceed is to repair that closer. Simply repair it or rebuild no, it. But we're going to remake the door. Oh, okay. He's gonna, okay. He's gonna change the doors. Okay. Well, you're gonna go back in with a with a floor closer right there. If there is no floor clo if that's not a floor closer now, then we're gonna have to um, 
we're going to have to do something else. Um, but you're going to, the next thing is to determine whether or not there is a floor closer that will, that will require someone stand in the opening and look down at the floor where that floor closer body would be. And the way that the threshold has been prepped will be very obvious as to whether or not there's a floor closer there. Um, I've never seen one, for sure. Um, can you well, show it to me in the, in the catalog that Richard, uh, Richard, that you sent me? Richardson. Did, has, did, did you ask your client, did this door ever self-close? I would ask that. Okay. Because okay. if it I did, can, then, there has, the call. Yeah, then there has to be a floor closer there. He told me that he had a dorma closer, but he, did, he didn't like it. It's probably not Dorma that's there. That that those, that installation is decades old, and it's going to be Rickson, if anything. Mm-hmm. Okay. If he had Dorma, he had Dorma probably somewhere else, and doesn't want to use Dorma on these doors. Maybe just a pivot hinges, right? Well, that that active door in these pictures has either pivots and is not, and never has been self closing. Or there is a floor closer there that simply no longer works. Okay. So I do have to ask him if he has a floor closer, right? Well, you you should ask him, has the door ever been self-closing? And if he says yes, you'll say, well, where is that mechanism? And he'll probably say it's in the floor. (laughs) That would be my guess. Um, The reason that's important is is because it will completely change your approach to making these doors. Okay. You you want to use a floor closer. It's the best way to close that door. Uh, and that door, if you are mimicking that with new material, that door is going to be super heavy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the floor closer is going to be the way to go. Doors don't look in bad shape. My goodness, what are you going to do with those when you pull them out? Are they going to put them in storage and save them for the future? They throw them away. Yeah. No, no, no! Stop that! <laughs> don't, yeah. don't, don't even say 100%. those words. No, no, no! 100%. That's that's how old is that building? That building's from the 1910s. I can tell you, the, the, yeah, it's a big building. It's 47. Uh, that's impossible. What? What you just? No way! No way! No, 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 no! <laughs> those doors are worth money. Money. 47 Plaza Street. Where's that at? Gorgeous. In Brooklyn. Oh, this building is ancient. Yeah. Yeah, those doors can't be thrown away. That's that's crazy talk. I, that's I, history. I anybody... yeah. That's history. The glass sure. alone is a fortune. No, the glass, they're going to take yeah. it out and install it in the new building. Ah, way. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Won't be much left. They should still put them in storage. You never know. In the future, it might be nice to have backups. It's true. It's true. Um, yeah. I would like to store every door, Richard. Uh, <laughs> <first, first thing. laughs> it's so funny. I, I know what you mean by that. If I had infinite space, yes, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you can sell it. There's people that buy this type of stuff, you know, but oh, yeah. it's very hard, Richard. It's very hard to... It's very hard. Yes, yeah, sir. so many good stuff coming out of this Brooklyn project, but yeah. Uh, to resell it, just to move it, uh, classify it, bring it to a storage, it, you know? Yeah, it, 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 yeah. It's very expensive. It's very yeah. expensive. Yeah, it is. Um, so I, I should ask him, did this door ever close? Um, what type? He's going to tell me yes, right? Um, if it had a self closing mechanism. Um, then I should ask him how. Right. If it was a exactly. Or, or how did they do it? Yeah. And where is that? Where is that closer? If not, then I should recommend using a foreclosure because it's well, the best way. Why? Um, because of the way that a floor closer carries the weight of the door, you are not asking hinges or the jam or the style of the door to carry the weight. You're you're asking the earth to carry the weight. Um, 
The problem with the floor closer, if there's not one there now, is to use one, you would have to substantially prep that concrete floor. The reason that you might want to investigate a floor closer is because an overhead closer is really only going to top out at about 200 pounds of door weight. After you get out of 200 pounds, you know, the, the factory is going to say, well, you're, you, you know, it's not meant to close a door that that's, that is that heavy. Um, For so a big building, that, it's going to be open a lot of times a day, right? Yeah. Well, that's the other thing, you know. You're going to want you're going to want something that can do the task, and that is a floor closer because overheads are not meant for the weight, um, because they're not hanging the door. Well, you'll have a bottom. Well, you could do it independently hung where you have hinges, um, but a floor yeah. closer is the type of product that you see on these exterior high volume applications with heavy doors. And which one would you recommend from the? Well, it would depend the on the ultimate. Yeah, the 27 is what you're going to end up using, the Rickson 27. Rickson 27, let me see from what you sent. I don't see it. Um, have the Rickson. So it's page one. I don't know which document you're in. Should, um, I, should I put on search Rickson 27, right? So 27. On search. For the part number. Yeah, I mean, from Rickson's catalog, you know, you can fairly easily find the 27 um, or from their website and then products kind of thing. Uh, or I will just, I'm going to email you this catalog section only. Okay. How, how much or, is that part? Oh, just, you know, speaking out of context, $1,500. I, I don't know. I, I don't have it memorized, but something in that range. Something, okay. Something that's going to last them decades. Something that's just going to last forever. How hard it is to prep it to prep the floor for that closer? So I've prepped for every piece of hardware that there is, and I would classify this as it's all easy. Um, it's easy, um, but you do have to the the person doing it has to understand how to read a template, and if you have that in a router, you you can definitely do it. Um, it's not it's not difficult. It's more work than just a butt hinge, but you know if you've machined for overhead concealed stops and whatnot, it's mm -hmm. you know it's, this is not difficult. So it goes not on the floor but on the door. Well, the arm of the closer goes on the door, sure. And the other part goes on top of the saddle, right? It goes underneath the saddle actually, and in the floor. And only goes with, with a little hole to the door. That's right. Uh, oh, okay, got it. Okay, okay. It's not, it's, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, if you can send me that um, link, I would appreciate it. And I'm going to call the customer right now and, and find out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, if there's, there has to be a closing device there because those exterior doors, they... <laughs> People aren't closing the doors behind themselves. Yeah, I don't think so, yeah. I don't yeah. think so. Maybe he doesn't have anything. I'll call right. him right now. I'm not calling. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Richard. You're the best. I love yeah. you. I'll, I'm going to send you these doors if, if I can. <laughs> I, I look forward to it. <laughs> I, um, you know what? I love New York. I'll go to Brooklyn myself and pick them up. Anyway, so there you go. <laughs> there you go, Richard. Thank you. Thank you, I'll sir. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.